How could, Put the light on. How could you miss it? There's two stop signs there. There's this but corner that we turn. To, 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 you know, yeah, follow the, it. There's like, a corner we turn. It's a joke. It is a joke. There's a corner we turn where the, the, nobody stops. Nobody pauses. They just cut right through. And, and obviously, the direction we're coming obviously from. Obviously, the town knows. We have the right so way. town they knows. They put a second stop sign in there. Yep. That light. Flashing light. If people are not stopping for the first friggin' stop sign, what makes you think they're going to stop for one that lights up? Ooh, is it more scary? They got to put like, a speed bump too, maybe. No, they got to put a cop there yeah. once in a while. Not every day. You need, you but need once in a while. You need the flat. I don't. I mean, maybe they should just put a light there, right? But if say they don't put a light there, they no, need a. Be confusing they need to have a, light a stop sign, a flashing stop sign, a speed bump. Because that's but, an entrance and an exit to the highway, mm, forty six. Yeah. And if they put a stop, uh, put a light there, you know how people go through the yellow light and then they get stuck in the intersection. Mm. No, it would be a mess there. No, so then, can't. so then they need like a stop sign, a double stop sign with flashing lights, and they need a speed bump. Uh, no, what that's they need it. is those those spikes that come up out the ground <laughs> if you drive past yeah. the stop sign and, illegally. And also, Ow, I need to be able to do my gone. psychic slap, where I where when somebody drives yeah. poorly, I can psychically <laughs> slap them in the back of the head, You're like I always power. wanted to do. I always I had wanted some to. Some lady almost hit me one day because she thought I should stop. We're going to the med lines. Through. You have a freaking stop sign. Yeah. You're supposed to wait for all of us to go through first. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's the what The light works. behind us does turn red, the, the, so there is a point the where stop you can sign go isn't through. optional. It's not like you never get the opportunity to go. It, it isn't like stop, you know, if if it if it no, looks it, like you should stop. Stop signs don't exist anymore. What they mm. actually say is merge aggressively. They don't <laughs> say stop. It's, it's like not even pause. They should have what they should have is they before the stop sign they should have a pause sign you know <laughs> it's a, or or something like that so they like know that they have to like eventually stop how about like there is a stop sign uh, down the road <laughs> please stop for it sign. it's just that lately I feel like a lot of drivers getting really friggin bold because there's no police patrolling yeah. police I mean Look once in a while I do see I do see them mm -hmm. but you know. In, in these intersections, this beautiful river. you know, every once in a while, you just need a cop to drive through and actually yeah. do something to scare some. At least if you scare one yeah. person. I was saying, look at all the houses they're building on this beautiful river. Oh, look, a pile of rubble. Those that pile Can you of see rocks that? has been there for years. <laughs> it's got trees growing. I know. It's like old, dusty, and That's dirty. That's their view. Yeah. Luxury. Oh, rubble Towers. Luxury. <laughs> rubble Towers. Lake Rubble Towers. That's that's what I would name it. They're probably going to get ready to build over here too. And they also have the view that. of the Royal Car Lot. <laughs> and and they get to breathe in like uh, exhaust from yeah, cars. Yeah, and their windows are going to be black all the time. Mm -hmm. And they it's hard to, to it's hard to clean the windows day. on the outside of a high rise. Or, My mother yeah. used to hang her butt out the window. When we lived on 90th Street, because the windows opened up like that, yeah. she would actually sit on the sill with her body outside the building so she and can her have, legs in, so she could clean the windows. But have what? A clear view of the rest of the projects? <laughs> no, the projects, the windows. Down. I'm talking about when we were on 90th Street. Oh, in 90th walk, Street. In the, in okay. the five-story uh, walk-up. Okay. She would open the window, sit on the sill with her body outside, with her back to the street. Yeah. So that she could clean the outside of the window. And she would close the window onto her lap and clean the windows. Do you think your mom was crazy? <laughs> Is that what you're saying? Oh, I just missed my turn. Uh, oh, no, I didn't. No, no I didn't. we're going local. We're going to the Midlands. Yeah. We're going local. So, um, yeah, that's how, but when we moved to the projects, the windows were different. They opened like a door. I like that name, though. They didn't open up and down. Rubble View Towers. <laughs> Rubble View. <laughs> Uh, Royal Car View Towers. <laughs> Royal Vo Royal Car. Okay, get over yourself. <laughs> Royal Car. It was, it was funny in the beginning. Dealership. But now it's getting View Towers. <laughs> you, you, you're stretching it out too much. Rubble Towers. Yeah. Rubble, rubble. Make yourself laugh. Nice. <laughs> and conveniently located to a Luke Oil gas station. <laughs> And, and a, a good credit well, bank, no problem, you're approved, right Adam's Auto Group. Down a little no, there's, there's a lot of stuff over here. That if you had to, you probably could walk to if mm -hmm. you had a car. Mm -hmm. No, there is. There's a lot of good stuff around. Because when I was a kid and we used to go to Pathmark, it wasn't like down the block. We had to walk like... Yeah, know, everything was far. Yeah, we walked. 
That's when shopping carts. Even now, like in the middle of nowhere, they just plop a bunch of the, like stuff all in one place to make it convenient. Why didn't the green arrow come on? That's weird. <sighs> that is weird and annoying. But yeah, so we're going local to the Meadowlands. Um, this is the first time we're shopping in the Meadowlands since what? Last year? Look at this guy. Um, yeah. So I don't know. We didn't we didn't go too early. We didn't go too late. Uh, Marie wants to go when when the guys are set up. So if there's jewelry there for her to well, buy. Well, I want to walk through once. Yeah, once. You know, and if one, there's one anything and really good and it gets scooped up, oh well. Whatever. No, you, it, know? you know what it is. If there's anything good and cheap, it'll get scooped up. You know, if there's anything good and it's not cheap, it'll probably be there for you. I mean, it, it it's it's different here. You know, everybody's got money. Like uh, everybody's walking around with a big fat wad of cash in their pocket. Well, you got a lot of uh, resellers, a lot of resellers. Yep, from there. Manhattan, from uh, New Jersey, because we're in New Jersey. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they even come from like Pennsylvania, Connecticut, not so much well, Connecticut. Well, I don't know. Pennsylvania has their own. These have buses. Market, so. Remember the buses that would go to Mellons? Well, that was on a Wednesday, when they used to open on Wednesdays, and the buses used to come from Jersey City. Yeah. Yeah, they don't do that no more. I wish they did. I wonder when the next, uh, what you call it? What's the little fairy one? Um, the Focus? Yeah. I They're the probably not going to be back until spring now. Let's see, are we driving by it? Uh, yep. Okay, let's see. No more flea markets till spring. Oh, Jesus. Bumpy roads. Uh, okay, we're going to drive by it in a second. We'll see. Focus flea market used to be good, like everything else. And now it's just, it's basically no, like generic crap. Else, what happened is there's some, actually a smart person that volunteers More than to one. help them. All of them. You know, and they get in there first. Oh, here, I, I'm, you know, I know stuff, so I'll help you price things. Yeah, you know, I help so all they, day. Can I just have these things? they don't say that at all. They just volunteer to help, and then they get in there, there first. There it is. What's it say? Know? Hall it's rentals. Hall rentals. Because mm. nothing's going on now. You know, you could have a little flea market um, there, I guess. Well, they used to have a flea market at this church. Remember yeah, Mike, I remember. I don't know what happened. Why they don't do it anymore. Um, they used to do it when the focus well, was on. Sometimes UPG. they get a new uh, minister or whatever, and, Daniel, right? or priest, and the, the new one's not into it. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I suppose. Oh, that used to be a Dunkin' Donuts over there. Yeah, but look what they're building here. Look, I saw this see? the other day coming through here. What do you see? And it goes all the way back. Oh, this? Yeah. It's, I can't tell it. Apartments. Oh, that's great. Probably. Well, these are all apartments. Yeah. I don't know. It's like I think I think anybody can get an apartment anytime at all. But if you're talking about like a an apartment where the rent isn't like nuts, well, well that's the I difference. was talking when I was at the grocery store yesterday. I met I told you I met the la the lunch lady from mm -hmm. the school that I used to work by. Yeah, and she was saying that you know her kids moved out and they got an apartment. Um, where did they get an apartment? They got an apartment in North Bergen. North Bergen. Yeah, and I think it's one of those, one of the taller buildings in North Bergen. Okay. Because when she was des describing it to me, I was like, isn't that Weehawken? And she says, no, nah, I thought it was too, but it's North Bergen. Yeah, North Bergen's okay. So, I think it's on Boulevard East, which mm -hmm. overlooks the water. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But she said, you know, they got in there. The rent was, you know, a little high, but I guess they could do it. But then once the year was up, they wanted to jack their rent. <laughs> And I, because they just wanted to get it full, and then once it's full, then the, after your first lease is up, they, but I thought there was only a certain percentage they're allowed. It to should only be it. a certain percentage. Yeah, I don't know. Is that I mean, just in New York City? I don't know. I, I, I mean, maybe because, the new leases are like. Oh, they used to have a flea market here. Remember? Mm, this one I don't remember. Yeah, it was all like not good stuff. We, you know. Anyway, I mean? so remember she the said that they. Their, their rent got so high they were like ridiculous we don't get anything they didn't buy that lot they had to pay extra for parking they had to pay extra for the gym they had to pay you know so it's like yeah what are you getting what are you what are you getting for your rent yeah. so uh people I should just like she, live outside they got an apartment down um in the greenhouse down the block from we us. should we should all get that together was still reasonable but yeah. It's full. The daughter was complaining. It's full of old people. I told uh, the mother. I said, "Yep, that's down the block from us. There's always an ambulance yeah. in front of that place." Yeah, we it's should like just everybody home. in the world should get together and just say, "Screw this crap and live outside." <laughs> yeah, you know I mean? right. Like you'd live. Just outside. we'll all camp. How are you gonna do it out your TV and your internet? Get solar energy. Oh. You just hook it up to your computer. Oh. You know, if everybody just said, "Screw you," you and, I and lived do not outside. Camp. 
there's there's not one camp and bone in us at all. I am uh, not into living on the street. Sorry. What did I say the street? You, just you said tent. camping. Where am I going to camp tent around city. here? <laughs> We're gonna Where am I going to camp? The, what do you see around here? You see forests? No. I like that tree. There's the, yeah. Oh, okay. So you're going to go that tree. You live by that tree. I'll see you. I like nice that tree. Nice knowing you. That's pretty nice. I'll it's got it's some got bushes. Look, there's some coverage yeah, okay. from the wildlife. No, it's because everybody it's like rents are too much. It's like it's ridiculous. You know, it's it's like you can't really buy anything anymore. You know? well, well, also I think it's uh, um, for some of the older landlords, it's it's more that their taxes are going crazy. Their uh -huh. property taxes, like especially in Manhattan and stuff. I could I can't even imagine what they're charging people. Yeah. Uh, tax wise for their buildings and stuff. So yeah, it's like you know, why sh why should anything be that much? A lot of the new stuff much? going up is all. You know, uh, it's not like these old time landlords that the guy owns. I, one I mean, honestly, I, I personally feel that property tax is just so that, like, if you don't pay, they can take your property. You know what I mean? Nah. The government just take. I mean, what do you mean that? It's, it's like they take your money, for... and if you don't pay, they take your property, and then they sell it, and they get more property tax. It's it, it's a win win for them. You know, what yeah, are you paying well, for? Like the dirt you live on? Take care of the neighborhood. You know, the neighborhood you live in. Well, why? I mean, what about other taxes? You know, why has it got to be like because? All right. I don't want to get into this discussion right yeah. now. I personally feel that like everybody should should get a living uh, tax deduction for for living because now if your rent is like twenty, thirty, forty thousand a year, you should be getting a tax deduction for that because that's a you have to live somewhere. You have to live somewhere. And that, if that's what the rents are, everybody should get a deduction for the rent that, that they pay. Well, you know, yeah, I know that. Uh, but I mean, it's like people who have a house get a deduction. So what's the difference? You know what I mean? You're paying a mortgage. Why Why is paying a mortgage better than paying a rent? You know what I mean? Look how they put this fence up, probably from people jumping and walking what, across this? the road over there. Probably. Well, you know, oh, these? The, the, yeah. the fence that they added I to the see. top of yeah, the stone Yeah, you got to be like agile enough to kind of jump a fence now. Uh, instead of it's it's all the way over there, you'll see it as we pass by it. You know, it's it's like they have the the road road dividers, whatever they call them, right? The concrete dividers, but now they put a fence on top of the concrete divider. Well, because guys are jumping off over them and crossing the street. Yeah, and it's dangerous. Maybe you know, too many people got hit. Yeah, bagels and pizza. Yeah, because see, it's where people would yeah. run across to go to. Right, the bagels and pizza. They would. Go to, I don't know who lives on this. Oh, people work there probably yeah. during the week. Yeah, because look, I mean, how do you cross this road? Well, this road, there's nothing over here to cross. There's no reason to cross over here. I don't know. I mean, you know. MetLife Stadium. MetLife. That's where we're going. That place. Right there. MetLife. I want to see if we buy anything. I mean, the flea markets are very sporadic and random. I mean, also, it's almost New Year's, so there might not be a lot of vendors there. And it's, the weather's not particularly cold. So look at that Corona. Get one of them. Um, so anyway, we're almost here. I gotta remember how to do this now. Um, maybe, I mean, Ray's gonna look for jewelry and, and whatever, like a little decorative. I have some bags in the car, so I'll give you, I'll give you a couple of bags if you want. And uh, maybe we'll find some stuff. We will see. All right, bye. Okay, so I am at the Meadowlands. Lots of quarter cents. That's nice. And I don't know. It doesn't seem like... You know what? It seems like a decent amount of vendors. I guess you want to start at the outskirts and just work our... Uh, from there. Because he doesn't separate now, does he? He just lets them... I don't know. I don't think this time of year he does. I mean, he might say... I mean, he might do it. He might say... Uh, new guys start like in the middle. New guys go one. Yeah, your knees are ready, huh? But, all right. Let's see. Maybe there's something here for us today. Okay, I'm back. Marie told me she did really good today. Oh, no. I did okay. What do you mean you don't know? Mm. Well, okay, what about this? It's, uh, it's not, it's Chinese. It's, oh, it's not, Chinese, okay. Uh, it might not. It's, it's a sensor. Mm. You know, put it up, buy it now. Nice piece, beautiful bronze. Beautiful uh, enamel. How much did you spend all together on your stuff? I gotta figure that out. Okay. Well, you yeah, tell see, me later. Somebody only... Okay. Mm. This is. These are called incense or sensors. You put the incense in there. You light them. We thought this was. It was, uh, uh, it was signed. It's Chinese. It's Chinese. She thought it was Japanese. I don't know if I have it right side up or upside down. But it's still a very beautiful piece. Bronze mm -hmm. and closing. 
Unless it's brass. Uh, what else you want to show me? Um, I got... Um, so you got some raspberry? But those don't have the, the juicy stuff in them, right? Um, oh, I got this Northwood. Oh, Northwood. Yeah, that's good that, glass. Yeah. Well, it, it is. It kind I, of depends I've been what you pay for. Stuff up. It's like 25 to 40 bucks. But Not I only bad. paid $5. Oh, then that's good. That's definitely good. Uh, even if you get like 30 you're fine. And I got I see four something in there. these for $5. Yeah, you said these were good, right? Yeah, and they're all the same? French. No, I have two like this and two with the uh, tulips. Okay. But they're worth maybe 70 bucks a piece. Well, then that's good. Yeah, that, that's five a ruin. Bucks five. Four. That's definitely the big win, and I guess, for now. Yeah, you know, we'll see. Maybe, maybe it's, that. it's French Majolica. It's signed St. Clemens. Okay. Nice. Um, Is he a Frankenstein jar? Well, that's. I know, for the kid, turkey. right? Yeah. Um, okay, and then jewelry? Here I got. You couldn't spend that much money. Mm, I got this. I got this. This is the pin. It's a Tara. Um, I paid seven. It's. I could probably give uh, people list them like 40. 40, not mm. bad. Then I got a bunch of these. Oh, the Kokeshi doll. Okay. Like a Some little ones, rose. minis. Mini. I paid. And there's more dolls inside. Oh, that so doll. it's a nesting kokeshi. Yeah. Pretty and then cool. there's there's like little bobblehead ones. Okay. I paid five bucks for all of these. Wow, that's great. That's another these one are for salt sure. And pepper shakers. Mm, but look at these little tiny ones. They're adorable. Okay. So uh, so and basically. This is, like a bobble. this is another one, and it has. Stacking. Okay. It, oh, I was yeah, going to say, be careful. Yeah, there's a little baby inside. Nice. Very, very adorable. It's a mama and her baby. There you <laughs> go. Like these, uh, how are you gonna, probably going to do well, lots? Well, these are and... probably going to do a lot. Okay. I mean, for the little, little maybe ones, Maybe right? one lot, maybe two yeah. lots. I don't know. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm going to show you a few things that I got. Uh, and then I still have more stuff, dude. And then I'll probably do all the records at the store. But, um, okay. What else? You got more? Yeah. Oh, I thought that was it. I got... The only reason I bought these They're nice. Were they is... cheap? Because they were a buck a piece. Okay, very good. Uh, I didn't In realize box this box night. was messed uh, up. Whatever. You know, box but, stuff. um. I mean, cufflinks at a buck a piece are generally these fine. Two these these enamel. are nice. Mid century modern enamel design. Anybody make them? They're not marked. So I paid $3 for those. Nice. This is, I paid four for this, but it's a miracle. Okay. It's a Celtic. Miracle Celtic stuff. Uh, that usually sells and 25 to 30. Somebody gave me this. <laughs> nice. Okay. The guy I bought the from gave Beautiful, me that. beautiful. That's old. That it says yeah, Hong it's Kong old. on it. Yeah, it's like seventies probably. So it's a seventies. I would say seventies. Yeah, if I had to guess, you know. And that it. All right, uh, I'm gonna show, show a little yeah, bit of what I got while you put your Frankie. stuff away. Okay. Um, I got a bunch of records. I'll probably go through the records at the store because we're probably gonna go get some lunch or, or whatever, unless you're doing math. But I spent. I bought some cassettes. I don't. I never heard of these guys. I figured I could try Spanish cassettes because I bought these two, and uh, these two will cover these if if they're nothing special. But you know, I figured you know what? Let me try it. So I spent five for that stuff. They're a buck a piece. Sometimes you know I'm willing to experiment. This is the only thing I got. Oh, here I got this Godzilla. This is for the store. Um. I paid like 10 bucks. I mean, a good flea market price. Even if I sell it for 25, that's fine. I don't see anything wrong with it. And can't go wrong with Godzilla. I don't know what it's from. Let's see if I can focus that. I don't know. I, I, I just don't care. I did like 10 bucks. This I paid five, and this is from uh, the PS3 game, uh, Resistance 2. Um, I paid five. It's probably worth like 20. I, I think it's cool. We're a video game store, amongst other things. So I think it relates. This is the only thing I got for us. This, I'm going to see if I can figure out who made it. It's fused glass. Um, it's blue. I couldn't find a signature anywhere. It's probably like 70, 60, something like that there. You know, I looked all over. I couldn't. I'm holding it up and down. I'll, I'll take a picture. I'll, I'll like do do a Google image search. I only paid two bucks. Up. Let me clean up. Yeah. So for like two bucks, I was like, eh, who cares? You know. Um, okay. Well, Marie's cleaning up. I'll go through some of the records. All right. Oh, Don't worry. I got it. It's here. You only had one hand, right? 
Oh no, that's a baby. It's a baby. Okay. All right. Uh, let me let me put the records out. I'll go through them quick. Okay. I figured it out. I spent a hundred for all these records. So I guess what I say. I spent here. I spent. Man, you know, it feels like I spent more. I spent one hundred ten, fifteen. I think I spent one hundred twenty today on everything. All right. I only spent one hundred twenty. That's not too bad. Some of these are Spanish. Um, I'm gonna try and see if if these are worth listing online. If they're worth like fifteen and up. I don't care. Some of them are for the flea market. Uh, I'll go through. You can see. This cover, I don't even check. That's like a crazy cover. Sexy. Um, this guy, I just, anything that looked interesting, this I took because whatever. Teddy Pendergrass. So you can see the ones that are definitely flea market. Linda Ronstadt. Then the ones I don't know. So it's a crapshoot. Like this is, uh, what is this? Wild Wildlife. I don't know what that is. I think I just, sometimes I just take stuff. Marshall Tucker. The, the, the ones like this I only paid a dollar for. Like Ray Charles, Bark, Commodore, Donna Summer, Donna Summer. This one I, I paid a dollar. Zebra, Doobie Brothers, Eric Clapton. So I can definitely sell those at the flea market. Uh, and then the Spanish ones, I, I scanned some. So overall, I'm definitely safe. Who... You know, that's easy, 10 bucks. This is five to 10, no, no sweat. You know, so if I spend 100, there's two records right there. I get back 10 to 15. John Lennon, that's 10 bucks. Who's this? All right, uh, Dan Fulber, Jackie Brown. These I paid a dollar, you know. So it's like, who cares? Jackson Brown. Then, yeah, the platter, Spirits on Fire. Uh, what's his name? Harry Chapin. Okay, I'm almost done. This, I forget who it is. Uh, I think it's, I think it's whoever. I, I'm almost done. I'll just take a couple more and it's Carol King. I would close the door, but I can't right now. Then some of these, I think these will go on eBay like 15 and up. Uh, and these are Spanish. I kind of looked at these. Uh, there was one in here that was like 30 or something like that. So... You know, I'm trying to be creative. Everybody looks for what they know. So I try to think outside the box on what to buy. I think this one might be okay. I don't know. And almost done. Rick James, that's Flea Market. And this guy here. And that's it. Okay. Uh, there's so much stuff that came in today. It's ridiculous. I yeah, can't even, I can't even share it. Yeah, just a bunch of Funko Pops. Nobody cares about and these And we things. traded some good video games for it. That yeah, we, we get did. Back in. But you know what? Overall, it's a win for us because it'll come down to more money in the long run. Show me yeah, highlights. Yeah, listen, what's easier to sell, though? I don't know. Nothing. Show no, me the, the video games are so instantly. I just said back. nothing. That means nothing is easier to sell. Okay, is this a highlight? No, it's over like 30 bucks, maybe. Okay, and so... Yeah, and then, all right, 30 bucks. Is it even worth listing in that because no, of the shape? No, it's not worth listing. Uh, these pops, I already showed that. They, what are these things called again? They, they're they're like dorbs, but they're mighty mugs. Yeah, remember dorbs? Yeah, are terrible too. Dorbs. They were not adorbsable in my mind. Um, but this stuff is cool, right? We got some black line Star Wars. Star Wars. Oh wow, Tiki Thanos, Mandalorian. Uh, I think I'll focus on this. Uh, red, red green Hulk. Was that a real thing? Because I stopped reading the comics. And I don't remember, like, I saw the uh, cartoon series. Mm -hmm. And so this Resident Evil stuff came in. I like Resident Evil. I actually, I want to watch all the Resident Evils again. The but movies? Yeah, but I never saw the last one. I saw all of them except for the last one, so. <sighs> what do you know? <laughs> They're like the best things ever. I was totally into them. It's funny, some of these money mugs still new for five bucks. Yeah, I know. We're, th that's flea market stuff, dude. We'll take it out. If we get $3, two for five, I don't even care. You know, somebody will go, I'll give you $3. I don't care. You know, there's nothing. So is that everything pretty much in a nutshell? That's everything in a nutshell. They just came in. These were actually, you know, at the store today, it's all straight up trades. I give you this. I take that. Um, we got these G.I. Joes. All limited edition from uh, 1995. You think that these being limited edition from 1995 would make them worth a, a shit ton of money? Um, this is the best one. I think it's a little over a hundred. You gotta double check. Um, and then these are definitely under a hundred, like seventy-five. I mean, 
possibly more if you're patient, but you know. So it's still not a bad trade, and we and mostly today everybody wanted stuff for games, uh, games for stuff. We gave them games, they took stuff. So you know, but uh, overall, not a bad deal. Uh, like I said, some of that stuff over there is going to the flea market, but. I'm not really doing any flea markets for a couple weeks unless I decide to do the Meadowlands. We will see. Don't know yet. Going to decide. Wow, look at this. If you put those together, it makes one. Hmm. I did not know that. Now you know. All right. That's it. Uh, a little bit of a, a later night trade-in. Got these four games. And that's it. I'm about ready to get out of here. We just had some people come in. Okay, and uh, I'm here later than I want to be. Anyway, uh, I don't know if I'll post another video tomorrow. If I don't, Happy New Year's, everybody. Bye.